Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlooky and Tien, and in today's video we're working on a 20 by 20 iron golem farm. Bam! Alright, so this has been, um, I wouldn't say that it's been requested, but, but, by default, the ones that I've built before, like these ones, they work, they work pretty well, except they have a big, big problem. Um, you know, the golems spawn on the top part of it, and, and so on. Now, uh, if you keep up with my Let's Play, I actually modified one of them. It's a... 12 by 12 inside of a 14 by 14 which uh, you know makes no sense makes no sense but it works and it works for me and it basically uh, it had to be crazy modified like you'll see it if you ever see my let's play you'll see it uh, but what I decided to do uh, for you guys today was basically a 20 by 20 these ones you will 99.99 percent of the time never see them spawn outside of the spawning pad. Uh, what we're going to do for the tutorial is we're going to do a second uh, section up here of water so that you guys can actually um, you know have a little bit more spawning room but beyond that I mean this has been doing fine I think this is like 20 minutes or so of um, waiting around so it got four golems uh, not once have they spawned in the in the pods with them and uh, or the walls or anything like that so yeah, uh, I didn't want to do it before. Let me kill these guys, actually. Look, there's another one. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sexy. Uh, so no, it works great. Um, I'm not going to focus on this. This is where the kill section would be. But as you can tell, they are one, two, three, four, five, six. See, for this is this is the seventh block. This is where they're standing, and it doesn't uh, affect it at all. They keep spawning, so if you are concerned by measurements as to how far away they should be, I would say at least seven blocks. I think whenever I did it, and it was like six blocks, then they weren't spawning. Um, I could be wrong. Could be wrong. So let's just say seven, because for a fact, seven's working fantastically. There, take a blue block. All right, so yeah, let's do that. We're gonna kill these guys, even though we're gonna go halfway across the map to build it. I just don't want to have any kind of villager cap hit, uh, met, I mean, and so on. Now the kill system, <clears throat> I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Um, I'm not going to focus on that, you guys can uh, set up maybe a crushing system, which is always the, the easiest bet. Um, or if you notice on my let's play, they go through lava and then I crush them so it doesn't take forever and a day to crush them. Um, yeah, you guys figure that out. Have fun with it. Have fun with it. Um, let's see. We're gonna go that way. Alright. So measurements in themselves, they're simple. And I haven't wanted to do this before because I... Oh, oh my god, there's sausages. Build. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I always had a problem with them in survival. And I think it's been long enough and I've seen plenty of people do... Um, not do them, I guess. But... God, I mean, yeah, quite honestly, I think the only person I saw doing was a while back. It was uh, my buddy Feeks. What the crap? Is that a villager? What are you guys doing over here? Uh, you bastards. I wish there, were, there was like a kill all villagers section. Nah. Alright. Oh my god, how powerful are you guys? That's like 2,000 potions. Die already, man. Die die all right all right all right no but I mean I think it's been long enough I haven't heard anybody really complain about the 20 by 20s and maybe the complaint that I had with them was just all in my head um, I don't know but I never liked them I always had problems with them they never worked for me when I tried them in survival so that's why all right so this is what you're gonna do you're gonna do a 20 by 20 okay so there's uh, already two so we're gonna go this way so one two three four five six seven eight eight nine ten same thing on this side <clears throat> we already have one here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so what's ten ten twenty right ten that way ten that way same thing over here uh, we already have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten same thing on this side we already have the one so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right, <clears throat> now we're gonna fill this stuff in, just like that. I mean, I would use the potion like to speed things up because I know I'm gonna have a random uh, douchebag be like, "Oh, you should use this potion to go faster." 
No, I, I don't like the effect that it does. I actually think it is um, better to do without the potion. Either that, I'll, you know, I'll fast forward maybe the next section or something, another quadrant. Uh, because that stupid speed potion thing, just little blue lines around the screen, I think would annoy me more than this taking a while. Uh, or, or... I don't know how long it's gonna take me to fill this pad in, or you know, just just skip ahead because all I'm doing is this. I'm just gonna fill it in so that it's a 20 by 20 area. That's it. All right. <clears throat> now, so what's been going on? Me? Not much. Not much. Steam sales. Playing games like I said I would be. Been uh, banging out a couple more uh, let's plays on Terraria and on uh, Overcraft. I need to focus more on the um, the multiplayer multiplayer uh, Minecraft one. Uh, it seems that I get a lot of you know because I only do maybe like one a week. And I think it's a good it's a good mix of not overdoing them um, because you know um, yeah, it's a lot of potty mouth going on and for the most part my channel doesn't really have a lot of potty mouth going on except for those and maybe scary games. So I don't want to like overdo it with that because if you guys are younger don't watch those videos they're not for you all right so there we go 20 by 20 let's double check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten perfect one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten nice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, fantastic. Now we're gonna build a wall. All right, through this I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, all it is is gonna be a three high wall. That's it, guys. Three high wall. So I'll get with you guys in a minute. Allow myself to introduce myself, Brandon Smith, A.K.A. Hollywood A.L.E.A.Z. Ask your girlfriend I'm coming. Look, the first time I said it on that album If you don't know nothing about it You probably ain't been around it Ask your girlfriend, I'm coming And she bowed it I'm back in the building Keep it honey, keep it moving, get it right. Alright guys, and we're back Alright, so we have a three high thingamajig In theory now, the inside of this is 19 by 19 But don't worry about that So there we go You're gonna do this on the corners, like so You're gonna do this, like that and we're gonna do this like that. Same thing all around. I mean, you don't have to use a different block, okay? So chill out. It's like, why are you using lapis? Okay, now this is a big thing. In survival, um, just all you need is two buckets, okay? Two buckets. Um, I'm, I'm in creative, of course, so I'm gonna just place them all around. But in survival, just place one bucket here. Place one bucket here, and they create a source block in the middle. So take your empty bucket and then just place it like that, okay? Take your empty bucket. See, I'm, I'm skipping one. So even though I'm in creative, it's still creating a source block there, so the point is still there. Take it from the middle and then place it there. So all you need is two buckets. So you might be like, oh my god, it's not survival friendly. You need to take like 200 buckets. No, you don't. No, you don't. Chill out. Just two buckets, that's all you need, but screw that, I'm just going to just place stuff all over the place. Oh my god, it's going to be nighttime. Now, I put my uh, op opacity up, so that it doesn't get too dark. If it gets too dark, then we're going to sleep. This is not like a super quick build. Alright, <clears throat> so we're here. See that? All of them are flowing. If they all don't appear to be source blocks, then you've done something wrong and you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, we break these now. Okay, let's break those. Break, break, break. Okay, see how they're flowing into the block there? That's fine, that's normal. Nah, nah. Now don't mess it up. Don't mess this part up. If you guys remember seeing my friend Feeks do this, he messed it up and he had a horrible time. All of these turned into an actual source block. Now we place one here above it. Okay? We break this one. You can take that from any of these source blocks. Again, you don't need an extra bucket. So we place it here, and then we break it. And then we place it here, and then we break it. And uh, same thing. Just repeating myself. 
All right, if you can tell, like, let's say you're the Iron Golem. If you spawn anywhere here, you're going to float, okay? As you can tell, the water stops on all of these, and you're going to be thrown into this 2x2 two two hole. Like so. All right. Uh, but I'm saying, if you fall into, let's say he spawns here, there's no point in this where the flow will not direct them towards the middle. It's going to bed. I want to do this in the dark. Alright. Sexy bed. If only it was purple. Alright, alright. Let it be day. Alright, fantastic. Okay. Now you need doors. So you're going to need uh, 48 doors. Yeah, 48 doors. Now, place them on the inside like this. If you're in survival, just click in so your little dude's crouching. And then just place them down like that, okay? It, it can be kind of a pain, but it's doable, alright? So, I am um, in creative for a reason. So, we're going to place 4, 5, 6. Skip 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So one, two, three, bam. All right, so that's six. Same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, six. Go to this side. One, three, four, five, six. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> so 12 on each side, 12 times 4, 48, and then you're good to go. You're good to go. All right. So we're going to just build a little pillar block here. Like this, like this, like this, like this. And then we're going to go all around. So with the blocks being above it, the villagers or the game's going to consider these villages, so you're good to go. Go like that. Like that. Now, if you don't want the second floor, and I'm going to do the second floor for those that want the second floor, which honestly, I'm probably going to do one section and then call it a day because it's really just doing this exact thing up here. Okay? But, but, if you only want one floor, what I did is I basically just kind of, you you don't have to do a different block. Again, guys, just chill out. Chill out. You're going to be like, I don't have the lapis. We're using different blocks. No, basically I'm creating uh, the roof portion of things, or the, the inside-outside section. Um, it worked, at least when I was doing it, where as long as these blocks were here, <clears throat> then it was enough. I, you didn't have to do a full coverage section. Maybe you don't want to uh, use up the blocks to make you know, everything completely covered. I found that doing this was sufficient. Like that. So there's enough, you know, uh, light on this side and, and whatnot over here. So it was working perfect. So we're going to worry now about the um, the villagers. So we're going to do these pods like this. So uh, we're one, let's see, there's going to be one, two, three, four, space in between. Like that. And we want four, one, two, three, four, like so. And the reason for that, super simple, because we want to have the water flow pushing the villagers towards the middle. That's it. That is it. So let's make a floor for them. Like that. Alright, so water here. Water here. Oh, there. There. And there. So, you won't have villagers crowding and pushing themselves. It's always going to push them towards the middle. Okay? So, um, let's just throw some villagers. No, you know what? Let's finish the pods and then we'll throw the villagers in. Like that. And I think I went one below, right? Two, three, four. It, it doesn't. It, it actually shouldn't matter. Um, the way I did it on the example before I did the video and I just showed you guys, they were actually, like the blue blocks here were at waist level so they can see in there. It, it shouldn't make a difference. Oops. But make it too high so they can't escape. Uh, of course, also guys, cover this up uh, or light it up very, very well because, uh, you know, you'll have a zombie spawn up here and be like, and then eat them all. Uh, it happened to me. 
happened to me, and I was sad. I was devastated, actually. All right, same thing. Uh, a lot of people say, and I don't think it's actually the case, but why not? Uh, but a lot of people say that um, having a, a semi-equal amount of villagers makes a difference. Uh, I don't think it does if you've seen my Let's Play. I mean, I get golems, you know, where they need to be, and I don't even know how many are in any of the pods. I think one of the pods actually has, like, one or two. So it shouldn't matter. I wouldn't say concern yourself too much with it, but, I mean, if you're anal about things, just, then, you know, put, it, put a semi-equal amount in each. But, oh, my controller died! Hold on. And we're back. All right. Uh, like that. I think I'm missing some right here. So just every corner. So you could tell that it's not in the corners. Now it is. All of them pointing towards the middle. All right. And uh, the funnest part about this, though, I mean, it's not really fun. I'm being sarcastic. Is the villagers. Getting the villagers up here. Guys, I'm going to link a couple of videos as to how to do it. Um, there's going to be a mob elevator with, you know, water. You have to get them up here somehow. You can have uh, rails. Um, you have to get them all in, in one place. I did it in survival, so don't tell me that it was good so hard. No, just, you have to do it. Put them in minecarts and build rails up to wherever it is that you're trying to put them. I'm not going to say anymore that you need to have these in a specific biome for them to work. I don't know. Um, I've had people say that it doesn't matter. I had people say that it's not working in a specific biome. I don't know. You know what? Go into creative. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this is the seventh. Go into creative and try it out. You know, if, if before you invest the time in survival, and you're like in a snow biome or a hills biome, and you're like, you know what? Um, I want to know that it works before I build it. Then I would suggest to do it. Go in creative, build it in that biome. See if you have luck with it. If you do, then so be it. Um, but again, a lot of people say, no, it doesn't matter. It could be on any biome. That was a big rant of mine that it seemed to be biome specific because I did it in survival with my buddies. And it was a snow biome and it never worked. Some people are saying that doesn't matter anymore, but I know I was there and I lived it. All right. I'm going to put an equal amount of them, okay? Because again, you know, I'm in creative. I can do that. So, like that, like that, like that. There's villagers. This is considered a village now. And you're good to go. Alright. Like that, like that, like that, like that. Now, you're able to stack these. I think you need to separate them by like 64 blocks from bottom block to top of the bottom block the other one honestly unless you're on PC you don't really need that you're fine you're fine go mining uh, but no I mean you're able to make massive things of these but again it, it's not worth it we don't have hoppers all right so we should see um, some iron golems at some point in time um, if you know I'm gonna skip the, the second floor the second floor guys it is literally this exact same thing, leaving a hole in the middle, going up three blocks, and then building uh, just a wall. In that case, well then let me show you. I'm going to just kind of build a little bit. We're going to do this. It's just to get the water flow. You don't need any. There it is, already. Then take note, three to five minutes. Um, it's just to get the water flow, that's it. In the event, people say that it, it helps because it gives them more spawning area. You know, let's say the game says you're going to spawn up here, but then there's no block for them to spawn on. So then, you know, it wouldn't do it, and it would wait till the next cycle and then spawn them. Personally, I don't think it matters, but you know what? Uh, I don't sit there reading the wiki as much as other people do. But, you know, if it makes you feel better, then just go up three high, and all you're going to do is just repeat the water process that we did. Put the blocks on the ends. The little two by two thingy we did. 
place all the water down. You don't need the doors. You don't need the roof section or anything like that. All you're doing is just getting the water flow going. But of course, then you need to make sure that this whole area here is that it's completely filled in and it leaves strictly the two by two. So you know what? Screw it. We'll do it. Just cuss. Just cuss. But again, I honestly, I don't even think it, you need a second floor. If you're just passively playing the game, these guys are gonna spawn. I don't sit around by my spawner on the, you know, on my let's play. I basically just play the game, exit save. Whenever I run by there, occasionally there's there's golems there, so I'm good to go. All right. Fill it in. It's about to be nighttime again. Hurry, 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 hurry. So many blocks. Honestly, guys, if I was you, I would just skip this part. Just be happy with the other one and you'll be fine. I promise. I don't have any problems with mine. I wouldn't lie to you. I mean, I would lie to you. But I need to benefit myself, and I'm already doing it, so it's not benefiting me. All right, we're almost done. Nope, oh, heard another one. There you go. Hello, sir. Uh, what I would like to see, though, uh, as I'm doing this, I, I mean, maybe it would prove the fact that this would be helpful, is if one of these guys spawned up here, like just in a, in a solid block. I guarantee you, I bet that it won't happen. I bet that it would not happen. So honestly, I don't even think it matters. All right, are we there? Are we there yet? We're almost there. There we go. All right, so yeah, we're gonna place our, our blocks here. Corner blocks that we did earlier. Corner blocks, I know it's getting dark, guys. Deal with it. But again, biggest thing though, honestly, is um, light this place up. All right, so too high actually is fine. So too high is fine. Um, light it up or make sure that the villagers are covered with glass or something. Because again, zombies will spawn up here. They will break the doors. You're basically going to have a bad time if this place is not mob proof. All right, and now we break this, we break this, we break that. Now break that, break that, break that. Break that, break that, break that. Break that, break that, break that. Water, break it. Water, break it. Water, break it. Oh, one more. Water, break it. Get some glowstone going. All right. Well, then that is it, guys. That is it. With this uh, design here, uh, you shouldn't have them spawn anywhere but inside of this area at all. So, I don't know. In the length of when I place the villagers, that's what matters. Um, you know, we already have two of them. One of them was pretty quick to show up. Uh, but again, make sure you cover these guys up. Make sure you light up the area because at least on mine, uh, you know, they spawn by the doors and they break the doors and it just... I still haven't fixed it. Screw it that. Screw that, but they still work though. Actually, with broken doors, they still work. Probably slower. But still work. And I kind of want to stand here for a little bit. I'm going to stand here for maybe about 20 seconds. I'll fast forward through that. Um... To see if any of them spawn up here um, which I, I highly doubt it so for now I'm gonna say guys I hope you guys like the videos always subscribe up top and peace out and uh, then we'll sit here and wait and see if we see any of these iron golems so I'll keep track of the time and then maybe I'll put in splice and how long it actually took uh, before the outro goes out all right so then peace out for now